A tags on, nah tags on. Ugh. Wait, wait, wait. There's one more. There's one more. Here we go. Hold on, hold on. I got. Ah, yes. Hate dang tags on my shirts. But today we're gonna be checking out some evil games. Wait, what's that? Oh yeah. Boy, you better get that out of here. If you've ever scratched your butt in your life, then please click the subscribe button. The subscribe button. And yeah, comment down below something evil. You can put when your mama farts. You can put babies. <laughs> Sorry. Or you can put your daddy. Let me know. And let's go. Everybody chill. Everybody relax. I'm just here to get my phone. That's all. I'm just here to get my phone, bro. Uh, here it is. All right. Yeah. Uh, thank you, you guys for your patience. I'm really thankful. Thank you so much. All right. Oh, oh, you dummy, you really thought you was gonna walk away with your phone with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight munchies in your bank account? Like, bro, you would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for those meddling munchies. So close, man, so close, but uh, you know how it goes down in the in the back rooms. Uh, Munchie said, you can never leave. We are united forever and ever. <laughs> So you ah. play the Veronica ritual. Welcome to part two. Here's how you can summon the ghost of Veronica. You're too close. By playing the game, Veronica will appear in the mirror and answer questions about love or even predict your own death. Nope. You need a Bible, scissors, red ribbon, and a dark room with a mirror. A you Bible and scissors? Through <laughs> the handles of the scissors and all the way up. Wrap it around so it's tightly closed. Open the Bible and place the scissors on the middle page. Then close the book. The handles should be sticking out at the bottom. Now go to the bathroom and turn off the lights, but make sure you light a candle. Hold the Bible with two fingers in each of the holes of the handles. Close your eyes and repeat Veronica nine times. Now open your eyes and ask Veronica questions, yes or no questions. If you've contacted no. her, she will move the scissors to the left or to the right. Left means no and right means yes. This game is very dangerous and if it goes wrong, it could be fatal. You look dangerous. Don't say I didn't warn you. Are you serious, girl? Uh, when did Harley Quinn get here? You look like a demon. I mean, geez. <laughs> Actually, you look like a demon's pros. <laughs> I'm on fire. I mean, I don't want to be on fire, but you know, you're telling me I need a Bible, scissors, and some red ribbon. Like, like, wh where am I supposed to get all that, girl? Well, I got scissors. I got. But all right, right here, she looked kind of cute, like, like, like dangerous cute, like the type of girl that while you're kissing, she'd stab you with a pair of scissors. Right here, you just too dang close, girl. I don't trust you. And and, and who's got the fog machine? Somebody's blowing cigarette smoke all up in your screen. Ridiculous, girl. You got thick lips though. I like it. But with that black eyeliner. And eyeshadow, you looking like a dang raccoon. Black man. Oh my. Oh hey, my. language. What? You didn't see me. You didn't see me. You what the? <laughs> what the? Sorry, man. No, 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 no. Go in. What the is that? Your mama. What? Oh, God. Shouldn't have opened that bathroom oh, stall. Jeez, man, you getting scared like a mofo. You want to know what that is? That's your doom. Staring at you, black man. You ain't going to make it. It's so awkward when you open the bathroom stall and you see somebody sitting there taking a poop. That's probably uh, one of the most awkward things that could ever happen. Or when you see them through the crack of the stall and you guys make eye contact. Have full on doors, like a full big old like wooden door. And then if it's locked, then, you know, then, you know, somebody's in there my voice just cracked then you know somebody's in there going through puberty leave me alone also going through your mama all right do not play this horror game if you're afraid of walking through the woods at night I this terrifying you. horror game is called see no fear and i have a full playthrough of it right here the game starts with a radio alert warning you that crawlers are falling from the sky what is a crawler you crash your car and wander through the woods with blurry vision looking for your girlfriend rebecca and in searching for her, you discover that there are all these disturbing monsters that contort their bodies and run toward you the noises get louder as you're chased through the woods but luckily you stumble upon a house and in this house you find rebecca well, at least it was Rebecca. What? That, wait, wait, the crawler is Rebecca? Oh. 
Dang it, Rebecca, what the heck happened to you? And why are you doing gymnastics? Now's not the time to be doing the double tuck and roll. Your leg is bent way crooked, girl. Like, we need to take you to the chiropractor. And where's your clothes? I mean, come on, girl. Like, put it on. This is not cool, girl. I see your booty. Uh. Oh, you're done. Turn around. Uh, uh, what is it doing? <gasps> what are they doing? <laughs> stop it, stop it, children. Children, stop. Children, stop. This is your sign, guys. Don't have babies. Don't have babies. This is your Worst sign. Worst babysitter out of her. Oh! Oh my god, they're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. Oh, they're gonna kill me. Oh! Oh my god. You're done! Oh, maybe not. Guys, if that's not enough of a sign to tell you not to have children, then I don't know what is. Yeah, uh, that's a good sign. <laughs> Jeez. That's a sign for you not to have children. Dan, look at all them babies. What is this, the adoption agency? Looking like a dang hospital of newborns. Chilling on the cabinets and on the shelves. Imagine if you had 12 dang babies and then all of them want some milk. Y'all ain't getting squat. You know what I'm getting? A date from you, girl. Like, come on. Uh, uh, have you heard of the DMs? Have you heard of, uh, at dang mass? Like, like. Like, just message me, all right? Jeez. And then we can have a nice dinner and talk about how many babies we want. Zero. All right. Scary games and their rules, part two. This game is called Three Kings Ritual. No, it's not. And it's apparently meant to allow the person playing to enter a different dimension. How to play the game. You need to be in a large room, preferably a basement, without any light streams through windows or doors. You'll need some candles, two large mirrors, three chairs, and an object from your childhood. You'll need to set up everything like this, and once that's completed, you'll need to exit the room that you're in and leave the door open and head up to your bedroom. You set your alarm for 3.30 a.m., and if your alarm goes off at exactly 3.30 a.m. and everything is as you left it, you can proceed with the game. To proceed with the game, you need to be sitting on the middle chair at exactly 3.33 a.m with a lit candle in your hand. Never let go of the candle and shield it with your body so it doesn't go out. When you're seated, you are to look straight ahead into the darkness and never at the mirrors or the candle. Apparently at this point in the game, you are meant to hear a presence somewhere in the room. Some who have played this game said at this point, it feels as though you're having a conversation with your conscious or an entity that you have manifested. This conversation may be about your past or unresolved issues that you may have. Some people claim that this ritual is sort of like a psychological experiment to put you in a lucid dream. I have no idea what happens if you look at the candles or the mirrors, but I don't think I want to find out. Thank you. Gee, yeah, I don't want to find out either, girl. How many dang steps you got to do to play this game? You have to go in this room, then you have to leave the door open, you got to light a candle and do it. Uh, I got a dang, I ain't got time, time for all that. It. Only games I want to play is like where I just turn it on and then boom, start playing. All the steps you're talking about are worse than when the game has to update and then the TV has to update, the remote has to update, the controller has to update. Are you you kidding me? Your mama has to update. Jeez. Uh oh. It's a really long tunnel. There's light. I see the light. I see the light. Don't turn around. Don't turn. Oh! I told you, you dumbo. You would have made it if you just ran full steam ahead. But you turned around. You slowed down. You dodo. And what the heck is that? You that demon with the upside down head chiropractor cracked your neck too far my boy i hope you kept a receipt so you can get a refund <laughs> jeez your neck needs a refund just <laughs> refund it all the way right side up but if you enjoyed this video then go ahead and smack that like button and yeah i'ma see ya in the next one peace